no kidding. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are here with uh, NVIDIA and the new Project Shield, still actually unnamed, right? Yeah, so this is, uh, we're calling it Project Shield for now. We'll have a final final name later, but uh, uh, this is a new device that's gonna be coming out uh, Q2 of this year. And uh, it's a, uh, a, a mobile portable gaming device, uh, built for gaming, built for PC and Android gamers. Mm -hmm. It's based off of our new Tegra 4 processor and uh, integrates a uh, full-size uh, gamepad, dual analog joysticks, D-pad, all the buttons that uh, gamers are used to uh, in, uh, in in playing their favorite games on a on, on a console, uh, and it's uh, got stock Jelly Bean Android, so mm -hmm. you can do all the things that you normally do on uh, uh, on Android, uh, and then you can do uh, go in play your uh, favorite Android games uh, on the device. Uh, but one of the particularly special things is about this is that it has the ability to connect to your PC so that you can play your PC games. Which we whip around here, so, the setup behind us. So we'll get in, this is Call of Duty Black Ops 2. It's being uh, rendered on a GeForce GTX PC and it's being streamed over your home Wi-Fi network uh, to uh, Project Shield here. And uh, using uh, some technology that we've designed, we're able to do this with really low latency. Uh, so you really just get a very responsive uh, gaming experience with the graphics that you're used to on PC. And it's not an unfamiliar uh, physical process. I mean, I'm not a big gamer, but I've got an Xbox at home and I'm completely at home playing this. Absolutely. I mean, you're playing you're, you're playing Call of Duty just like you normally would, right? With a game with a gamepad, um, you get the best of both worlds. Really, you get the gamepad support, you get the quality of the PC graphics. Uh, and you get to do it anywhere in your house. If you want to sit in your bed, if you want to sit on your couch, you can sit here and play the best best Android, best PC games on the market. And it sounds great, these little speakers up there. I mean, they're small, but when you, when you see the secondary home from the face, it's loud. <laughs> yeah, so we've got really great audio visuals. This is a 720p retinal quality display. Mm -hmm. and LCD. We've got LCD, and we've got a bass reflex. Uh, system that really gives a much fuller, richer sound to the audio. Right. So you really just can get immersed in the game. So you just really hear and even a little bit feel all of the audio. Now it's a, uh, a clamshell device, so it actually closes up, right? Right. And when we so, close it, it looks about like this. Yep, you just close the design. Uh, you know, nice compact form factor, pretty lightweight in your hands. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you've got some nice customizable lids you can swap out get a get your own sort of style on the device mm -hmm. uh, so we'll have some different game style ones and, and fun style ones of these uh, customizable uh, tags talk to me about the ports that we have on the back I mean this is all standard stuff right none of it's really strange yeah you know we wanted to make this really an open platform right things that people were used to people are used to Android mm -hmm. they know and love Android they've got all their apps all their content there um, they want to connect to a bunch of different devices it supports Bluetooth it supports Wi-Fi it supports USB you can output to HDMI you can plug in your speakers and a headphone jack. And then you can also access your PC to play all your PC games. Um, so this is really a, a great open platform that gives people access and connectivity uh, to, uh, to, to you know, everything that they, uh, everything they, wanna, they wanna connect to. Excellent, well thank you so very much. Thank you. Gary here from Android Central. If your wife won't let you run around naked, grab a kick-ass t-shirt from shopandroid.com.